forward. You guys, uh, next speaker, I'm so excited. It's not even good morning for her. It's good afternoon, I believe, right? She's in Nova Scotia. So, you know, that's way further out than it is here in LA. It's 8 a.m. here in LA. But anyway, she has been coaching for 10 years. She signed up the day that Canada became a, a market for us for Beachbody. She, day one. But before that, she was a customer for five years. Uh, she waited patiently for Canada to open up uh, in Beachbody and you could be a coach in Canada. So she is currently a seven-star diamond coach. She's a two-time elite coach. And listen, guess how many months she's been in Success Club? Guess how many months she has invited at least three new people to uh, get the healthy results and to join her team? 111 months. I love playing the Success Club game <laughs> because it's just like, the consistency that I see from coaches in the over 100 success club months is pretty impressive. Um, her team is called the Inspire Tribe. Let's uh, welcome from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Danielle Melanson. Hee hee. Hello. Hello. <laughs> welcome. Finally, you're finally on the wake up call. You waited 10 years for this. I did, but timing is everything, Sandy. This is the moment I was supposed to speak to everyone here. I think so. Well, you know what? Let's talk. Um, I, I kind of said how you came to Beachbody, but why don't you give us kind of this rough, you know, why you came and then when things really started to pick up for your business? Absolutely. I love telling my story and I'll keep it fairly brief, um, but I think it's always important to share a little bit about how everybody got started. So as Sandy mentioned, I was a customer first before a coach. So that would be 15 years as a customer. And I'm going to reference that as we go forward um, with the topic that I'm covering today. So I was 250 pounds. I was a size 24. I was had a really bad health scare at the age of 30, I'm 45 or now. And uh, I, I just needed to find something to change my life. And one of my sisters actually uh, lent me VHS, um, Turbo Jam. And I, well, she needed it back because she needed it for herself. And I ordered my own and I was hooked. I couldn't believe I could feel good, feel so much confidence in myself, love exercise for the very first time in my life and of course, see results. I was hooked on the community that I was seeing on Facebook with other coaches and all the events that the company was doing, that they were meeting the trainers, these people who were inspiring me every single day to be the, a better person. And they were changing my life and my mindset. And I just needed a part of that. I needed to have a part of that. And at the same time, it wasn't my time yet to be a coach because, of course, the opportunity wasn't available in Canada yet. I could not even understand why I was I didn't understand it was a USA thing just at that time. And I was so eager and anxious. So the moment it was available, I signed up. I didn't know what I was doing. I did not did not know anything about social media. I did not know anything about business or what or how I was going to do it. I just knew I was going to figure it out because I had such a deep belief and these programs and products as a customer first. I'm here. I'm here. I'm just looking at all these people just cheering you on. So thank you. You know what? It takes a life event to really just stop you in your tracks and say, nope, not going to do it. So I appreciate you sharing that. I also, um, you know, something about being a customer first is really how this whole topic thing got started because I try on this wake up call to solve a problem or to to help coaches uh, talk so much about, you know, where do I find great working coaches? Mm -hmm. How do I get people to stay in my challenge groups? Any kind of, you know, question that comes up on wake up calls, I try to tackle it on the following wake up calls. So, you and I had a conversation about how long you've been a customer and how you onboard people it as preferred customers first, because you were pretty much a preferred customer. I mean, it wasn't called that, right? Yeah. Um, so why don't you go in and talk about how how personal the, the topic is to you and just go straight into what you were talking about. 
Absolutely. I could talk forever. So I, I told Sandy, you just you just cut me off whenever I need to be cut off. Um, so this was the thing. Being a customer first was so important to me because I'm very skeptical. I'm a very skeptical person. I'm always waiting for the sh other shoe to drop. Um, and let me just tell you, spoil spoiler alert, after 10 years as a coach and 15 as a customer, no shoe has ever dropped. Um, this company is dripping with integrity. I cannot believe I'm on a call after Carl Deichler, the CEO, which everybody would know. I have given up multiple super trainer opportunities to meet them to just even being in the same room as this man. Um, so that was really cool for me. That was a real cool moment for me off topic. Um, so I love, love, love to highlight my customers who come in. I love to show them, um, you know, the, the little things that they may not realize are so important and so powerful as they're going through their journey, okay, as a customer and as a preferred customer. So when I'm introducing and, and getting people started on their journey, there's a couple of things. Of course, as a preferred customer, they're going to get a discount on the programs and products. They're going to have that discount, the same discount as myself and us as coaches get. So to me, that's a real no brainer because we're showing them value. We're showing them that we want them to be here in our community. And this is how it works. When somebody is getting a discount on programs and products that they're falling in love with, they're going to stay on that program longer. When they stay on that program longer, they're going to get better results. When they get better results, they have more confidence. When they have more confidence, their energy is better. Their energy is electric. And therefore, they're noticing this. Everybody in their life is noticing this. And it's affecting every part of their life, right? And these are the things like, I really love big groups. Okay, because I've been a coach for a long time, of course, I have a bigger team. And I have uh, groups where I have my whole entire tribe in there. And I love it. I wouldn't change that for the world. This is where we have community. This is where we connect. This is where, um, you know, newer coaches can plug their people in on their first couple of months as they're getting their feet wet in their business. This is where we get to know each other. But I love to take my customers and my preferred customers especially and put them in a Facebook pod. OK, now that can be in a bod group that can be in a text pod that can be um, in an Instagram pod, whatever works for you. I do mine in a Facebook messenger pod. Um, and this is where we not just check in with our larger group, but we check in more personally together. We connect, we build that relationship, we get to know each other, not just me. What I love is when I can open up that pod and I can see all of the participants. They don't need me to be like, hey, girl, way to go or message every single one of them back because they're doing that for each other because they're creating that. OK, and that's where I also love to highlight them as a preferred customer. So, Sandy, what I when I say that, what it means is. I really want to point out to them things that they're probably taking for granted or not realizing has great value. Things like leaning in and sharing their daily progress or problems that they're having, whether it's personal problems or things they're running into that they need solutions to. Maybe it's just, just checking in for their own accountability. Maybe it's sharing a recipe. Maybe it's sharing about something that's going on in their personal life and how they are still sticking to their health and wellness journey. Whatever it is, this is where we cheer each other on. And a lot of times they just don't understand how valuable this is, like I mentioned, because I don't know what it is about human beings. I guess I used to be that way myself, but we matter. Every single soul matters. Every single person is inspiring, in their own way. And this is how I really start to introduce coaching to my preferred customers, because I love to pour the belief into them. I love to show them that when they showed up on that day, that wasn't perfect, that that meant more 
than showing up on a day that was 10 out of 10. I like to point out to them that I am inspired, that I may be their coach who brought them into this, but I'm not on a pedestal. I'm in there in the trenches with them. I'm checking in as well. I'm sharing my personal struggles, my ups and downs, my mess. And there's a lot of mess. We all have our mess. And I'm telling them how inspired I am by what they're doing. And these are basically their coaching actions that a preferred customer doesn't realize are completely in line with what we do with coaches. And this is really a, a really great lead in for me to have that conversation with them. Oh, you know what? I'm like still like <laughs> going because so you have talked about preferred customer as like your preferred method for bringing people into the business, so to speak. Yeah. And I want to mention how many times I hear people say, how do I find working coaches? Mm -hmm. Well, you find working preferred customers. You find customers that want to get results, want to believe in the products, want to feel good about themselves. And, and that's the answer. Like we're, we're going about it the wrong way. We're looking for working coaches when we need to be looking for satisfied customers. I Absolutely. mean, how do you feel about that? Absolutely. And, you know, there's this term that, um, you know, a lot of coaches who have been in the business, especially as long as I have, um, called bleeding beach body blue, <laughs> right? Bleeding beach body blue. And, and that's what I always say. I say that to my team and I say that to um, my customers and my preferred customers, because this is the thing. When you have great results, because you really followed the programs. I always say a recipe is a recipe because that's how it was designed. You know, you would never make that cake or that bread and omit the eggs. So having the nutrition aspect, Shakeology, our performance line, and our amazing programs and products all together is the total solution. Um, so when they lean in at that, as a preferred customer and customer, they have those results. They feel that shift. They know the value. And this is what's going to give them clarity and confidence in their coaching journey. And I know this because that was how it happened with me. There was nothing anyone could say to me. There no naysayer or anybody who, who could kind of shake my belief in something that I knew was true because I experienced it myself. Now, you and I talked about referrals. I mean, do you think, do you talk to people about, like, if they don't want to coach now, do you talk to them about knowing someone else or how, how does that work for you? Absolutely. So this all ties in together because, of course, I will talk to them about referrals. Um, and I do this because of that same process that we talked about earlier, which is the customer gets the results feels that energy because of their confidence and everybody else sees that. So my first question to somebody um, after they've completed a program or maybe they've just felt great success because they've had consistency for the first time in their life. And I'll ask them, has is anybody noticing in your life? Do you have more energy? Do people you work with, your family, your friends, are they noticing your energy? It could be results, but a lot of times it just has to do with a spark that somebody has. Sometimes, a lot of times it's both, but sometimes it's just a spark of confidence that people have. And the answer is always yes. So when that answer is yes, I say to them, wow, imagine if that person could feel like you feel right now. And this is a bit of a referral program because even if the answer is no to making the transition from a, a preferred customer to a coach at that time, it can still be a, a, a referral into our group, you know, of, of a referral to myself. But my first, first thing is to make sure that they realize that as a coach and jumping into the coaching position, they can bring this person or people who have been inspired by them, not me, who have been inspired by them into this journey with them. I love to let my preferred customers know that when they decide to join as a coach, that I have them. I have them because they can plug their people into my pods at first. They can always plug their people into my, 
my groups, which are larger groups, but I do speak to them about having their own pod and building that own their own relationship with the people they're bringing in, but that they do not need to know everything to get started. They, they have that trust and that belief in me because I never let them go as a customer. I showed up every day, good and bad, when they were a customer. So they know and trust me that I'll do the same as their coach. Sounds like you onboard people the same way that you came in. Like you were mm -hmm. chomping at the bit to become a coach. You know, you, you were doing the programs. You fell in love with all the trainers. You enjoyed being a customer. But when you found out that there was a coaching option, you were like, when? So it seems like that's kind of how you bring your preferred customers in is like you meet them where they are and you introduce it when they're ready. But it sounds like it's an easier transition from PC, preferred customer to coach, because they have had a solid experience as a customer. I love it. I love it. Love it. So uh, you you sound like the steady Eddie, you know, the turtle on the hair that the the that steady head, steady Eddie wins the race. Talk about like, your superpowers. In in ten years, you've had to flex so many muscles. What uh, what would you say is your superpower? Well, you said it. You said it, Sandy. Steady Eddie. <laughs> Steady Eddie. Uh, tenacity. Tenacity is my favorite word. Um, and I never knew at first what exactly that meant um, until I, I heard it um, in a book. It was actually the Go for No book. I heard it in that book. And then I knew that that was exactly the person I wanted to be and, and the, you know, and follow that, that line, you know, be that person who no matter what happened, I was going to show up. That doesn't mean that every day I show up, it looks the same. That doesn't mean that I do not have ups and downs. I have gone through some of the most traumatic, crazy events in my life. Some people know about, some they don't, but nobody is immune. And the steady thing has always been my business in this community. I see so often, Sandy, you know, and it's, it's human nature, so there's no judgment. But when, when things get tough, people back away. People back away from their own personal journey. People back away from the business. People back away from the community. And it's the absolute opposite thing that I would recommend for anybody. And that is the, that's the reason I'm here 10 years later is because the relationships I've built the community, that sense of accountability that I have as a coach and as a valuable member of this community is what makes me show up every day, no matter what. Um, so I would say tenacity for sure is my superpower. You know, I think about people that have been around 10 years like you or, or a long time. And I ask what keeps you here, you know, and it's, and it is all those character traits. It's tenacity. There's also a rhythm to this business. I mean, we just announced super weekend is this weekend and people are like, huh, what super weekend. We've been doing super weekends for 11 years, every single quarter. There is a rhythm to this business. There's a wake up call every Monday. There's a super weekend every quarter. There's a coach summit every year. That rhythm keeps you here because it, it, it helps fuel your belief in, in what you're doing is for you. I just, I love what you said. And I'm so appreciative that after 10 years, you finally, you know, were able to talk about it. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, thank you. Stick around, stick around after the call. We'll have a little chat, but For thank sure. you. Again. Um, you guys, Carl just threw down a, a, a monthly challenge, a 21 day challenge, a body block, more information to come on that. But all these ideas that come up are to keep you engaged and keep you bleeding blue, as Danielle said. And that is, why are you doing this? Goes back to Keyshawn's thing. Go back to the to the reason why you're doing this. We have a machine here. It's it's a rhythm. It's that flywheel. We keep introducing products that 
that help you talk to more people, help you inspire more people. But why is Danielle still here um, 10 years? Because she made it all her own. She didn't just run hard and then burn out. She was steady, eddy, consistent, trustworthy, and tenacious. And all those character traits are really how you uh, build that business. And then walk across the stage at Coach Summit, which brings it back to Darren Ashby. You see what I did there, folks? This is your wake-up call. I'm Sandy Buadana. Make it a great week. Get to a super weekend. If you can't get to one, host one. Host your own. Invite a few people over and host your own super weekend event. I'm uh, excited for all the things to come. You guys make it a great week. We'll see you here next week. Bye-bye.